My name is Fumilayo Ogunsonya. I'm Femi Ogunsonya. We are the Ogunsonya. Yeah. We've been married for 11 years. And 11 years, it has been 11 years of God's faithfulness, True. 11 years of peaceful home, 11 years of God's bliss. And we've enjoyed the favor of God all around 11 years. Okay, why her? Um, I'm more of a reserved person, I'm an inside person. I want someone that is outspoken, someone that is vocal, um, so that we can blend. So I'm an introvert, she is more of her. She can always front. So I will be at the back, you know, giving the support and all that. So that for me was one of the things that actually makes us to compliment. So that's it for me, one of the things. It's like she's outspoken and reserved. Okay, so for me, the first day I met him, I saw in him a godly person. That was the first thing that attracted me to him. The, the, another reason is that I love his profession. I've always wanted to marry somebody that is working either in the banking industry uh -huh. or as an accountant because yeah. I don't, I want somebody that would be homely. For me, God is the institutor and originator of marriage. Uh, you take God out of marriage, you know, it's not going to land well. I wouldn't say that wisdom is also profitable to direct. Um, so if you see a high rate of divorce and violence in homes today, like I was saying earlier on about our, our issue now, I, I'm the reserved type, she is talking type. When she is talking or when she's angry, I'm like kind of, okay, I'll keep quiet. But when you see two people, shouting, talking at the same time, it's going to be violent. Violence will ensue, and every day somebody will be injured, somebody will be, will be bastard, will be brutalized, and, and all of that. And then, at the end of the day, we keep seeing, oh, I want to go my way, I want to go away, I want to go away, and all that. So, when God is in the marriage, and wisdom is also present to guide them through whatever challenge, money, misunderstanding, whatever challenge is, as far as God is, is in marriage and there is wisdom available, we will be able to navigate through and keep the home together for a, I mean, a better and brighter future for, for the society and for the nation at large. So for me, let God still be in the marriage and let wisdom be present to direct the partners involved. Um, Two months to my wedding, I actually lost my job. So I got married as a jobless man. Um, when we talk of financial um, capacity to determine marriage and all that, of course, it plays a vital role, but shouldn't be the, the for me, I, I was determined. I'm gonna go ahead with the wedding regardless, because I know I won't remain jobless forever. And of course, it was so challenging, but I got the job later on and then. From there, things has, <laughs> Things have improved and changed drastically. So um, I, I think that shouldn't be, what should be is the vision you carry and who you know yourself. You should know who you are. So when you are jobless, the state of mind is, is, is a condition at the moment. That is not your permanent, um, it's not a permanent position which is going to change with time, which did for me eventually. So for me, it shouldn't be a factor. As far as I'm concerned, Financial capacity plays a major role in marriage, but that shouldn't be our yastic. When I saw him, I saw in him a future. I saw in him a man that knew where he, he is going. He was a purposeful person. So that was the major reason that made me to bound, to pick my bond with him. It was not because he has money, because money was not there at all. Zero. So, and ever, since. and ever since then, after the marriage, though a few months after the marriage, it was, it was quite challenging because he has no job at all. But after that time, and since then, up till now, we give glory to God. It has been from blessing to blessing and testimony. And this is the year of the Spirit, that the testimonies still abound in this year for my family.